Let's get to it. Um, a lot of people, Rob, are down on Kyle Shanahan. Uh, he made some he made some mistakes, and I, I'm just gonna keep it real. I do think he's a good coach, but they got out coached. And we talked to T.J. Hushmanzada about it earlier. But Aunt, now Andy Reid is arguably the best coach right now. So if you you know that's not a shame that he out coached you, but I did think that the Niners coaching staff made some moves that I won't, I mean, over the course of 60 minutes, maybe it could cost you the game. Um, but I just thought they got out coach and I thought Shanahan made some mistakes. And as we said, Rob, seven times in the Super Bowls, teams have lost double digit leads. And now he has been a part of three of them. That's, that is crazy, Rob. Uh, once obviously as offensive coordinator in Atlanta, when they gave up a 28 to three lead, and then um, the last two times they played the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And so uh, that is, that is, you know, we talk about Doc Rivers, Rob, in the NBA. God knows I saw similar. a lot of things on social media, Chris, calling him the Did Doc. Did they compare? Yes, really? the Doc Rivers of the, uh, of the NFL. I saw it. But the only wow. problem I had with that, and, and, you know, we've been critical of Doc. Yeah. But Doc did win a championship. I don't think that that's a fair comparison. Like, like Kyle hasn't won, Chris. So I can't I, – I think I understand people are, are frustrated with Doc and of late, but he did win a championship. I don't think that's fair. Yeah, and I, I, I would say th – and that's fair because, Doc, you can't take you can't that title. Take that I was from around him. that team. I went to training camp with them in Rome that year, and Doc did a great job. Since then, though – I get it. The thing is, Rob – where Shanahan would have an edge over him is at least Shanahan's getting to the championship games, whereas Doc's not even getting past the second and I get round. It, and nowadays. I get it, right. And I get it because, you know, Doc has blown series, Chris, where they're up three to yeah, one or whatever. So that that's, I get, like, that's what they're saying. Like I don't think it. it's a great comparison overall. I, I don't. As you, yeah, yeah. As you, I, I really you don't. But, but, I'm but what say, are your thoughts on Shanahan? I, I'm going to say this, Chris, and you know me. Okay. If you're writing, you're ripping. Yeah, if I'm That's writing, I'm, I'm ripping. And if I was a columnist in San Francisco, I would I would write that Kyle Shanahan needs to be fired. Wow, Chris, I, I fired, fired. I, I'm not even kidding you. And I get it. He's been to the Super Bowl twice in four years. Yeah, you can get rid of a coach that takes your team to the Super Bowl. They've won all these games, but you can't watch the same thing over and over and think it's going to change. We've seen this. Chris, Staley wound up losing his right. gig because he won wouldn't adjust. Yeah, but he wasn't no, 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 no. I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about adjusting. Chris, you can't keep doing the same thing and not not figure it out. Which is there comes a time. You could have a philosophy, Chris, right? And yep. you throw the football and all that. But there's a thing called winning time, right? And you got you talked about being out coached. There's also a thing about just making wrong decisions over and over. And in these games, up 10 points with seven minutes to go and all that, you got to understand that the more time you can eat off the clock, Tom right. Brady can't come back and beat you. Patrick Mahomes can't come back to beat you if you limit, Chris, the amount of times they have uh, by also running the football. I'm not saying, dude, like change everything you've ever done and, and, and play scared or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. These are first guesses. These are people watching going, what is this? Like, no, nobody, you talked about it, Chris, seven times it's happened in NFL Super Bowl history, right? where you blow a double-digit lead, and he's done it three times in the last five years or eight years or six years, whatever it's been, like there's a problem there. And I don't know if it's going to get through. You would have thought after he lost the, that 25-point lead to Tom Brady, Chris, where they ran the ball four times in the second half, where they were set up for a field goal, right, at the right. 22, all they needed to do was kick that they would be up by 11, Brady can't beat you. Like, you would have, okay, I blew that one. Then we remember with, with uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, Chris, they're up by 10. 
They used to have them throw the ball. They were running the ball. Well, and they were too. running the ball in that All game. Better than this one, Chris. You remember that? Oh, yeah, that? Absolutely. Right. Where they were running the ball, and then all of a sudden, they're, they're having Jimmy Garoppolo throw like crazy. And you're like, what are you doing? And in this case here, I just thought, Chris, I'm not saying it was a guarantee, but if you would have done run some run the ball, that third and four right there, I, I thought that was definitely a running down that much time. You, you know, about with, it overtime? No, in the fourth quarter. Oh, th- when they blitzed and Purdy kind of threw it yeah. through a short pass? I'm just saying you, you still eat up clock. I would rather Patrick Mahomes has a, a minute and 10. No, I, You see yeah, what I'm saying? I'm rather than a minute and that. 55, Chris. There's a big You knew there was a no big doubt difference. he was getting a field goal. The only doubt was, was it going to be a field goal or a touchdown? Right. With Mahomes. Like, and, and I will say this. I, I I don't know. I'm not saying the run. I'm disappointed that they didn't, and whether it's Shanahan or Purdy didn't, you know, audible at the line of scrimmage or whatever, they should have been able to know a blitz was coming. And, Chris, um, let me just, I'm going to finish. Because that, that kill, they, Rob, if they convert that first down. Oh, game's over. Game, game's probably over. Yep. And let me say this. Kyle Shanahan's offenses, Chris, convert just 25% on third down in the Super Bowl. Seven for 28. He's blown three of the largest leads in Super Bowl history. We know that. And Shanahan's teams, Chris, have been outscored. He's the offensive genius, right? Outscored a combined 58-12 to in the fourth quarter in overtime. That's a fireable resume right there. I, I I disagree that they should fire him, um, but obviously it's hard to defend his record in these big games, the Super Bowls, and then even an NFC Championship game. I what I would do, and and I, maybe the Niners have done this. I think John Lynch is good. I think obviously they're a good organization. I would hope they've done this, Rob, but they need to really sit down with him and talk about these things, and and coaches have their issues. This is a big one to have. But I get a prime example, Rob, is Andy Reid. Remember the issues Andy had in Philadelphia? Clock management, couldn't win the big one. That's why, and now he's that's got why I left a great quarterback. But, but Chris, right. all the success well, he, that Andy yeah. Reid had, they went to four straight but NFC. But last year, I think they went four and 12. But so I'm just saying, like, right. No, you know but I mean? I mean, he had had a lot of success. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and they were going to the NFC Championship game. They made it to a Super Bowl, and then they had the bad year, and they were like, okay, we've got to move off from Andy. Time to move right. on. Right. Um, but yeah, he, so he obviously has turned that around now. Some people are saying he's – maybe the best coach ever or or will be soon in that conversation. So I would not fire Kyle Shanahan, but I do think, Rob, I'll go over a few of them now. He did, he made a litany of errors yesterday. Um, One, obviously, taking the ball at the start of the overtime. And I, look, what he said about I wanted the third possession, right, where – if we go down and score a touchdown, they come back and score a touchdown. Then after that, it's sudden death. And we'll have the ball. And all we got to do is get a field goal, and it's over. I get that logic, but here's the problem with it. One, you got to get through the first two possessions, right? And two, it doesn't necessarily have to be sudden death. Because if the Niners had marched down, Rob, and scored a touchdown, kick the extra point. The Chiefs could have went down, scored a touchdown, and guess what? Went for two. And beat you. So, right, there's no guarantee you were going to get that third possession. And here's what the biggest thing I didn't like about it, Rob. When they scored that field goal, which, you know, you can you can think reasonably that they can hold the Chiefs to a field goal, right? You know, they hadn't been... They only they hadn't marched on them for touchdown drives that much throughout the game. They had two touchdowns. One was a short one off the blown punt that we talked about, just 16 yards. So they had done a good job of stopping them for the most part. But you gave Patrick Mahomes four downs. That was the, that was my first thought after they got the field goal. I was right, like, because the problem is he's gonna get four downs. Right, now. right, right. And they know they have to score. So like. That fourth and one, they went for it from their own 34. They had no choice. Right. 
Whereas if you if you had let them go first and they end up fourth and one from their 34, they're punting. And now you got a chance to just win it and end it. And so I thought that was bad. Rob, you, you talked about the clock management. Oh. I thought at the end of the first half when the Chiefs had the ball and they, they finally put some points on the board with a field goal, made it 10-3 going into halftime, Shanahan could have stopped the clock a few times with his timeouts and they could have got the ball with about a minute left and had maybe had a chance to get a field goal, if not more. Right. Why would Instead, you be satisfied for that? It. Right. Right. He let it go to they they end up getting the ball with 20 seconds left and, and doing nothing with it. Here's what I'm thinking now about Shanahan. Rob, I he reminds me a little, and I'm only saying a little, because I want to see more before I make the full blown comparison. But it's starting to remind me of Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni, no, offensive Chris, you genius. Might be, you might be on to something right there, right? and he never won. No, offensive genius, had great teams, changed the game to some degree, right? But his lack of attention to detail. In those playoff series with the Suns, you would always, they would play the Spurs, and you could just see that the Suns are getting lost defensively. They're turning the ball over at inopportune times. Not the Spurs. Or when they get in the fracas, fracas, right? And the Spurs players stay on the bench. Not the Suns. They getting up ready to fight and they get suspended. Like, that lack of attention to detail. What happened yesterday? The, the Chiefs players knew about the new overtime rules. The, the uh, Niners players didn't. You hadn't even gone over it with them. And, and Hushmanzada thinks you didn't even know. Yeah. I mean that that's an, then, that's an right? indictment though, but Chris, that's, that's an a indi- lack of attention to detail. And then at the end of the first half, that's another lack of attention to detail. So that is hurting them again. To me, I would not fire him right now. I think he's done a good job overall, but you got to get over the hump. And next year, Rob is critical for them because they don't have to pay. In fact, they can't pay Brock Purdy big money, which means they they're going to keep all their stars around him. If they don't win it next year, when are they going to win it? Because then you're going to either pay Purdy eventually and not be able to have as many great players around him, or if you move on and you don't want to pay him, now you're starting over with another guy. So next year is critical for them, and they are favorite, believe it or not, to win the Super Bowl, Yeah, which I think they, I think the Chiefs should be, but. I, yeah, so I, I, I just think, Chris, at some point, to me, three chances, you know, and I know he was the offensive coordinator, but those calls were awful in that situation to blow that. I, I just think you have to look at it and say, is this guy going to get it done? So anyway, I, I, I'm, t- I'm dead sure. I think I know they won't do it because he's been to two Super Bowl, but if I, if I looked at his resume and what he's done and these numbers are abysmal, I would fire him. All right, 877-99 on Fox. What are your thoughts? Rob says Kyle Shanahan should be fired. I say no. That's going a bridge too far.